Okay, new episode. Uh, I don't know which number because they will come out in different numbers. But this one is for you guys who are. Re it can be three. I haven't. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Yet. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that was in the <laughs> video. Thank you. Now we look like idiots. <laughs> but yeah. That's my bad. It's also great. Yeah. But we are. But we are idiots. It's the fourth recording of today. You are right, Rock. Yes. Now we have. If, if, you know, if the if the shoe fits, right? The shoe fits, like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, this is episode is actually dedicated to people who are returning to Clash because, like, a lot of you guys were like, I never returned to Clash. I, I quit the Clash, and actually, I understand because, like, if you start to have families or want to have a life, <laughs> uh, you want to get away from Clash because it is uh, it is captivating. But then you try the other games, you have some time in your life, and you're like wondering, is Ed playing still? You message me, I said, yes, of course, and nobody never quits Clash, it's, it's stupid to quit Clash. And then you're getting into, but then your base is basically stuck in Town Hall 14, 15, or sometimes even 16. Maybe you, you know, did something, you gem a bit, and what to do and how to attack, because, like, there is so many layers, like, your heroes have pets, and I think the pets, and yeah, pets have abilities. And like personally, I the, the, the two new pets yeah. I haven't I max them out, but I don't have anything. I never use them. I never will because I'm focused. So uh, I think if what is your idea if if you now come to back how to attack? Let's say somebody's average. They they were doing some drag pass. They were playing around with some lava looning. So like uh, let's let's talk about the spammers and prayers. They will of course go to YouTube see how can I spam three stars, they will find the YouTubers that teach them to do that, so they will be okay. So, But if you actually like attacking and, and have that, so what would you do uh, tell the people that are coming back to Clash? Um, well, it's interesting right now because with the power of the heroes, you can just, if, if you focus on the heroes, upgrade the equipment, um, the pets, as you said, uh, that's gonna be 60-70% of your attack right there, right? Because I think most casual players don't realize the real power of the heroes with some support um, and I think that that's kind of the area where, where things start to fall off so if you put enough support into the heroes I'm not saying your entire army you know maybe a couple of spells like uh, I know you said you use ice golems that's actually actually perfect to use with with heroes um, but if you use your heroes correctly they will grab 60 to 70 percent of the base with no problem at all right so um, definitely first tip if your heroes are behind get those up ASAP especially right now guys maybe if some of you aren't aware there is an event in Clash this month so entire July you can use your heroes while they are upgrading so if you, if you this is the perfect time to get back into Clash upgrade your heroes because they will be the biggest part of your attack so with the equipment, the heroes are maybe a little weaker by themselves, but once you get your equipment upgrades, oh my god, it's 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 a different different game. Um, so for someone that's you know been on a break for a year, two years, three years, whatever, I would recommend look into equipment, look into what kind of attacks you used to like to use because most attack strategies are still extremely powerful. Um, so definitely check out which equipment I can use to make those attacks that I already use stronger because like you had your you know we're all creatures of habits and when you stick with someone you get better at it so it's, it's just a waste to kind of um, not use our best abilities um, so you know if you were into drag drags before before you quit um, right now drags are still extremely powerful so maybe you know what would you use check with which the equipment dragon? would what would you use with the dragon um, I think, uh, yeah, it's probably just easier to go with specific heroes, so Barbarian King right now, I don't think there's an attack strategy out there that isn't used, that doesn't use, like, the the um, Gauntlet and the Rage, right? I think Gauntlet and Rage right now on Barbarian is just irrepla irreplaceable, the, the amount of power you get from that. It won't just clear compartments, it will clear sections of the base, even behind walls, because of the splash damage you... If you hit a wall and the building is next to the wall, um, the Barbarian King will actually destroy the buildings behind the wall without even going through them. Um, heroes, clan castles, you know, three ice bombs will die in a couple of swings, all three of them at once, because again, it's flash, so... Poor Barbarian King, and that would also, I would say, be the biggest priority, is get your giant gauntlet up as fast as possible. That is a game-changer by itself. 
Um, and then for like, let's say if you if we stick with drags for the queen, I would still go probably invisibility and ice arrow, just because with those two combined you can get immense value even um, even if you're just doing like a hero dive. Um, another really good option would be, and I've seen this like rise in popularity a lot, is um, the healer puppet for the queen. Um, so if you kind of want to let your queen walk aside of the base. You don't actually need to invest any healers in, in, in your army camp because you, uh, once the ability is maxed out, you get three healers for your queen. Um, and with three healers, you know, and if you can keep most of the firepower off her, then um, she will grab, you know, an entire side of the base and, you know, air defenses are still usually exposed for, for uh, lava hounds. Um, that's gonna be a, a pretty good idea. Um, RC right now, um, for pets definitely, I don't know if you, you said you haven't tried it yet, but the fox the, the, the that makes the RC invisible is just in, insane right now, well it has been since it's dropped. Uh, for equipment, haste is extremely good just because of the speed, especially if you, if you struggle with time fails, you know the haste is gonna just save you 20 30 seconds easily just I have the itself on, because on of how much, uh, how much faster it, it is. It is good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it So it this one might be like a pro tip right there. This very is quickly. Yeah. Extremely fast, especially if you want to, you know, grab a RD, air defense as fast as possible. That's just perfect. Uh, one thing I will say this use, is like, something that I guess on troops. Not... What just pure dragons or or what do you want to, together with that? Like pure dragons. Oh, Hydra. Uh, Hydra definitely. Else? No, dragons and dragons and drag riders right now are extremely powerful combination, right? You have the okay. dragons to kind of take out of the trash tank and the heroes and then dragon riders are extremely good versus defense. And, and a couple of loons um, or no loons. Oh yeah, loons definitely. Of course, loons uh, maybe 6, 8 loons just to um, okay. for the most part grab the traps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you would if go back we just to, jump back real quick, quick to yeah, so you were we had some some technical stuff. So Sorry, you were yeah. saying that there is something of uh, that was uh, I think it was something uh, around RC or something that yeah we were yeah yeah. About. So um, the RC equipment, one thing that maybe is like a little bit of a pro tip for some people. I, I think I told someone in in our clan yesterday, um, he was still using the um, the seeking arrow. I think it's called for the RC because. Um, he liked the, the health regeneration, right? So he didn't want to use the hog puppet because of the health regeneration. I, I don't know if most people didn't notice this, but um, the hog puppet actually does give you life regen. So you get, I think, at max level, a thousand hit points back on your uh, on your RC if you use the hog puppet, right? So don't run the 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 spear thingy, the basically the original equipment just for the. Uh, health regen because the RC Hawk Puppet will actually give you health back also when you use the ability a little bit less uh, than the other one but still you know it's it's more than enough with combined with the invisibility and the haste. Because I have the haste and then I have the, the shield that is thrown because I like the, that I can reach some damage that that's okay. the thing yeah, that yeah. I like. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And, I, and uh, I have the, the what is the name of the football? The, the, the spiky ball on the king? Yeah. Yeah. I like that on the king. And then I have the, the, the giant gauntlet, that's of course, that's a must. Yeah, yeah. And so I have that's... the giant arrow, and I have the uh, invisibility for the queen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for the king, the only thing is that I wouldn't necessarily recommend that combo just because you are wasting most, most of the giant gauntlet with the spiky ball, right? Because spiky ball is kind of ranged and then when you press it there's a little animation, you kind of waste a couple of seconds. Uh, but more importantly, with no rage on the queen, uh, sorry, the king, uh, he doesn't get sped up so and he is fairly slow by default. So um, you are losing quite a bit of, of value on your giant gauntlet because I've had a king take out the entire core of the base just with abilities alone and I'm saying town hall and then you know giant cannons and, and all that stuff so I have to um, check because I'm not so, I, I just tried that I'll figure out that but now let's go back to the because now this is what's gonna happen always here we're gonna go nerding out yeah I'm sorry so I'm deep. sorry yeah uh, no 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 they, we don't apologize this is who we are we're absolute nerds yeah so back to the thing I was saying that depending when you were attacking use something that you did back in the time so basically mm -hmm. if you were going air 
continue with that and start yeah. slowly to build there and like take take the picks from here. The one thing I don't recommend: do not watch YouTube, do not like uh, or your clan mates unless you actually have somebody good there or creative. Don't watch the spammers trying to do it because then you'll 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 learn from them and it's not, it's 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 bad bad education. So. Go for the pure, like attack how did and build from there. Start from that. Like you said, yeah. dragons work still, Lalu works. It's just figuring out. And don't worry, I think now the clash has changed that you can do kill squad after or before. Or sometimes Whatever, yeah. I blimp before, I or sometimes I go with the heroes first. It depends. Mm -hmm. Everything depends. And I think then, I Yeah. And I would agree fails. with that. Learn to be okay, go to Legends League, go to five five. Uh, five four and don't worry about fails you will learn from the fails and then you go from there if you always try to succeed you will never ever gain anything so be okay to fail watch the attack fix some one thing and then go from there and there and there i think that's the the, the best way to go at it 100 percent agree that was what actually, about the uh, new troops uh let me just double check there is so many new things here. oh the bear one i forgot yeah, they added uh, the, it yeah, what is the, the the, there's a druid now. Druid, the bear, yeah. The, so the druid is, I think, um, basically I a, a ground healer. So it, it heals your troops. Um, is, and is it useful? Like, would you use it? No. I, I, I've seen it used. I haven't ran it personally, but again, you know, I've been running the Root Rider army with, with my Queen Charge recall, and I just haven't had the need to add anything, change anything, because again, okay. I'm, you know, 70 80% triple rate. Um, yeah. I wanted to go back to what you said, I think that was very beautifully put and I think we need to um, emphasize that a little bit more, so if you're coming back to the game and you want to just be OP and all that stuff, just ignore everything. I think the most beautiful aspect of this game is that you have so much choice now from troops to hero equipment to, to pets to everything. I think you might spoil the game for yourself if you just, you know, go to you, YouTube and oh wow, this is the most OP three-star army. Use this and triple everything, um, and then you, you know, use your your brain cells watching those videos and then looking at the attacks and trying to copy. Uh, like Ed said, there are so many beautiful strategies that you can use. Um, if you prefer air, do that. Ground, do that. You can do a Valkyrie armies if, if you always wanted to do that. Um, because Valkyrie's it will work if you made them happen. Remember that they tried to make exactly. Valkyries happen. I think they have some bounty that if you make Valkyries useful, you get something. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so just so you use said, what you like. Did you say that use your brain? He, I mean, I, I think That's it would the, be you know a good the idea. Balkan in this dad. The Balkan dad. <laughs> Well, I am from the Balkans, so <laughs> yeah. so I guess there, there should be a little bit of a similarity. Yeah, guys, there. like check out Balkan Dad and Rob. Like, he, <laughs> he, I love the character because I, I spend a lot of times in Balkans I too, do. and it's like <laughs> so funny. I do actually like to cook too, and I do like chavapi and and all that stuff. So, um, sarma. Yeah, I guess I guess sarma, of course, sarma. Sarma is you nice. Know, my childhood food. Sarma is really good. Yeah. I think I think a lot of people are going to be looking weirdly at this, like, what are these words they are using? But don't judge, yeah. okay? Check it out, try yeah. it, and then and just say thank you, Ed. Thank you, Rock. That was a good recommendation. Yeah. And, and and there's the culture of Rakia, everything. It, it's uh, yeah, yeah. And basically, yeah. we're the funny. I, I look like I'm like upper class uh, person from London, but I'm I'm a poor gemmer <laughs> from Finland because all the money went to the gems, and <laughs> so now we're doing that. So we we are some sort of stereotypical things, but I think it's kind of funny. a little bit, yeah, a little bit. I would say yeah. that definitely, yeah, if, if you meet me, uh, I would be a typical Balkan dude, so, you know, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um. right, I'm going to put this so that we have the Balkan dad and Rob next to each other. I'm going to edit some stuff here. Let me, let me, let me, add, let me do the fireworks. They don't want to do the fireworks anymore. Damn, no yeah. fireworks <laughs> for me now. But I think the best thing is that people 
came back to Clash and don't overcomplicate anything. Just start from the where you were and then because there's so many troops and there's going to be more and more and more. But yeah. I still do think that there are the I think the root raider is now something like you are into it. But you weren't in the beginning. It took a lot of time so uh, to go at it in a sense. And I think there will be more troops and more troops. Uh, but course. still, the basic core of loons, lavas, everything is like whatever game Supercell invents, they exactly. export lavas and loons there. <laughs> I think that's the cool thing. Um, I'll, I'll take that a step further. I think if if you did play Clash, you know, a couple of years ago, and you're coming back, and then there were definitely different attacks back then, you know, like hybrid and and um, just even even if you go further back, the five goal and Pekka raids and and wizards and everything. If you can figure out a way to make an attack like that work, you have an army that nobody is defending. You know, and, and offense is extremely strong. Like I said, if you can get your heroes in this the correct position. Stuff. This is good stuff. If you, if, if you can, yeah, if you can figure out, you know, a new way to use five golems and three pekkas or whatever Nelly used to use in ITD days, um, you could very well just smash through every single base out there because no builder in the world right now is focusing on every, anything else than, you know, a few spam raids that are just so powerful that you need to basically... Because, like, before um, Clash was either air or ground, something was on the trend, and I, I actually learned Go White just so that when everybody went to air, I could go yeah. ground yeah. And, and slaughter exactly. it. So it, it's exactly, still yeah. today... It, it's. Take all of this, everything is to the simplest fundamentals still. I like. I think it's still like there. Just find exactly. a strategy that works yep. and then improve from there. And and Definitely. for me, it's like I, I like to learn the bat spells and that's why I did the drag bat. So if you have something, think that as a learning curve. At one point, you'll just take one assembly from that attack and upgrade the that strategy. So you have this one purest form and don't change the troops all the time. Like exactly. stick to one, do little changes. What do you need? When somebody says you don't need wall breakers there, they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Of course you need wall breakers. And to be prepared for any base, to have that sort of a strategy. I think we're going to nerd out for attack strategies for a different video, a different time, because this one is already a long we can do, one. We can do 17 videos just on that, yeah, but um, yeah. I love it, man. I love it. This is why, and this guys, is why I wanted to And guys, give us, it. again, ideas and uh, what to do. Hit, uh, Go to uh, the Discord, tag rock, not me, and nerd out. Ed, take and, it. Uh, Ed, take it. Yeah. No, no, don't do that. I will kick you out. I don't like to be tagged. Oh, actually, I think nobody... They can, yeah, they can tag me. I need to figure that out. Nerding on Discord. But yeah, so, and thanks for watching. And, uh, and I hope some people are watching this because it's, it's cool. And uh, see you in Thank the you guys. next episodes. Cheers.